Hello. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Neat and Not by the Sea. My name is Catherine. And I'm Victoria. And we're coming to you from Port Chalmers in New Zealand. That was pretty good. Yeah, that, well, that was pretty smooth. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if you know, but um, Martin goes to work on a... Normally... Are we late? We're late. We're a day late. So normally he goes to work on a, on a Wednesday and he checks out Neat and Not. And then, like... You never get it right. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We never we do. We don't. Not a priority. No. So, so I'm hosting today. I'm, I'm like the, the talkie. Yep. We're in Victoria's house. Um, so first of all, Peruvian Independence Day today. Woohoo! 28th of July. Woo! Woohoo! Yeah. I mean, we are ahead. This is New Zealand. So later, Peruvian Independence Day. Uh, so I'm wearing uh, red for no reason. Although, oh. you know, Peruvian flag, red and white. If you had told me that I needed to wear red, I'm sure I could have done something. Yeah, I don't know. No. Anyway, it's quite exciting. If I was in Peru, it would be great. I'd be having some Inca cola and maybe some nice Peruvian food. Nice. Uh, but no, no. No Peruvian food goodness. Aww. Um, so yeah, interesting times in Peru, new president. Good president, bad president, um, proven um, president at the stage. Oh, definitely, as far as I'm concerned, the, the preferred choice. Excellent. Um, but um, I don't like some of his ideas. He will not be flying a, a pride flag in his oh, house, okay. which is very disappointing in 2021. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I also think that he's fighting for the poorer segment of society, and I think it's about time someone did that in Peru, so that's really good. Yeah, so overall, a, a, an improvement from the last dude? It might have been a... Uh, you said Ball dude. You just, I yeah, did, yeah, I yeah, assumed. You, did, you <gasps> assumed. Oh. I do that when pe people talk to me about the daughter, I'm like, what did he say? Yeah. I am terrible. I'm so oh. ashamed of myself. But yeah, oh, you did bad. that thing. I did assume. Yeah. Um, I actually don't know enough. I think it was a dude. Um, I think, I don't think we've ever had a dudess. No. I, don't, I mean, I have no idea. <laughs> no. Anyway. Um, but he comes um, from humble beginnings. Excellent. So anyway, interesting times. I feel for people in Peru because it's been a rough five years. They've changed president maybe three times. Ooh. Um, parliament has been dissolved a couple of times. And it's so a lot worrying. of unrest. And a lot of unrest. And Peru is the second worst country in the world for COVID-19 um, everythingness. It's bad. So oh well, we're going to talk nonsense. Be... So if you're Peruvian and you're watching this, hopefully this will bring you a bit of light. Yeah. A bit of levity into your life. Yeah, we're thinking of you. <laughs> We've just been eating chocolate. <laughs> chocolate and ginger beer, it's been and great. And also, if you're in New Zealand and, or you're Australian, there's been a shortage. <laughs> Catherine has been very concerned about I've, this shortage. I've, you know, I gave up, no, I, I, I got quite addicted during the lockdown last year, and then I talked myself out of it. But then it's a treat. It's like some days, yeah. it's a treat. Yeah. And you go to the supermarket and there weren't any. We went to all the supermarkets in town at different times, there weren't any. Oh, anyway, there was um, the main pipe has burst so they're fixing it so there wasn't really a lot of water to drink at home so I was like I'll, yes. I'll go to the supermarket and they had the whole the whole area was full of these Ooh. it was very exciting obviously so anyway, new stocks come through so it was Bundaberg um, and Whitaker's chocolate <gasps> Whitaker's chocolate's the best yes anyway <laughs> enough of that okay so chatness Ch uh, no I think we, we have a we have a big thank you to say yes. first yes so Catherine and I got our first lot of city kindness city kindness and we owe a huge thank you to Carol, yes. who reached out to Catherine. I'll, I'll let you tell the That's story. That's right. Also, you're hosting. Um, well, Carol, uh, she started following me on Instagram. And Carol's from the north of England, so obviously she's a good sort. Um, it was funny. Anyway, we've been chatting um, on Instagram, um, where she is, um, KazRob57. And it's just so funny, because she was born... I think she was born not far from where I used to live, but now she lives in another part. Anyway, it's all very lovely. It makes me very homesick. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Remember when I was talking about how I miss dry stone walls? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I miss Yorkshire. Oh. Um, so she said, oh, which bit of Yorkshire? Anyway, it was very lovely. Anyway, she was super lovely. And because, obviously, we come across as the people that we really are on our floss tube. She was like, would you like some second-hand threads? <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> anyway, she was super lovely. I do feel bad because, Carol, you don't know me from Adam, really. <laughs> anyway, I'm so, I was so touched. I had a, a little... Mm. Yeah, we... Yeah. So she sent us a Amazing. box. So, of course, I, I'm, I'm cheap. So I'm never, I'm probably never going to have a subscription to anything because I'm not like that. Anyway, she sent us this parcel 
and it came in a box from obviously she has a subscription so it was like oh my god i feel like ooh, <laughs> a box oh it's um, very exciting. so it was lovely it was a massive parcel and of course um it went to work which i thought was the best thing and then I got an email, because I've moved offices, and I got an email from um, one of the admin um, staff saying, Hi, Catherine. I did not even finish reading the email. I was like, you've got a parcel. I've got a parcel. <laughs> <laughs> Urgent <laughs> meeting. Ran across the room, and my colleagues are like, oh, what's the matter? Said, not work-related. <laughs> anyway, I very inelegantly oh. ran to my previous office and ran up the stairs, and I got oh. the parcel. Are you still in the um, same building? I don't know if I need No, I've moved from Scotch Hand to next door where Cackle was. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm in a little wooden house. I don't like uh, mm. I don't hate it, but it's got a heat pump. Ugh. I don't like it. It dries my skin. Yeah. And I share an office with not females that are 49, so they have the heating on. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, they also don't wash my floss too, so it's okay. Oh. oh um, I love they don't watch it so you can be... Yeah, yeah. I, can, I can say like, oh, anyway, yeah. it's great. I arrive at 8.30. No, I arrive at 8. They arrive at 8.30, so for half an hour. I it's love freezing. It. It's great. <laughs> no, I've got my coat on. It's great. I love um, being anyways, first into the office. Um, I, am so. in, I am interested in, in showing some of the amazing things that Carol sent us. Yeah. Um, and she was, she was really thinking of me with the threads because she knows that I love secondhand stuff and I don't care about the numbers of things, so the things aren't labelled. But it was just so fabulous. But she also sent some lovely fabric... Oh, yes, for Victoria. Yep. I shouldn't have got both of us. Excuse me. Anyway, so this is what arrived. It's amazing. It and these amazing. colours are Catherine all over. I know. I really felt like. Look oh. at the yellows and the greens and the reds, and it's amazing. It, this was like she had handpicked these because she knew that I would love them. They're just so me. Oh. I was oh, so show happy. these ones out and show these. These are amazing. I, in, in a sec. And then there was this other bag as well, which were like little bags, lots of little bags inside this bag, which is also amazing. Inside the packet, there was also these four skeins, which are the same. Isn't they're, that amazing? They're so beautiful. And they're, uh, they're not a brand I recognise, but they also made me homesick for England because... I don't have my glasses on. They have Arabic on them, which really reminded me where we used to live um, in Sheffield. It was very multicultural, loads of um, people from different ethnic groups. Um, so it was just a cool city. Dunedin's not like that, really. <laughs> we no, think well, we are, it, but we're getting, not. Yeah. It's getting there. It's getting there. There yeah. are um, Indian supermarkets now. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've always had, well, for quite a few years, we've had Korean. Japanese, a lot of Japanese stuff, Chinese stuff for Chinese stuff for 150 years. Oh really. yeah, the Chinese arrived pretty much at the same time as uh, the white Europeans. Yeah, a lot of them came over <coughs> to do the um, gold penny. The gold rush, yeah. But anyway, so I was quite excited because this, to me, this has Arabic. Um, and that's all it says. But I think they're the same. They're the same colour. And I, I was fair. I was like, Victoria, shall we just split these? Because I, they're so lovely. Do you I was being fair. But. She was. No, but I don't think I'd use them, but they're gorgeous. I am And I can see them. Catherine using them. She does a lot of um, coloured top stitching on her quilt. And I thought you should use it. So use uh, some of it for that. I'm not going to now. I've, I've, oh, I've, you've changed your mind? I've changed my mind. I'm going to use yellows. But what I'm going to do with this, I think what I want to do is I want to do one of those, one of the big monochrome samplers, mm -hmm. like a Quaker sampler type yes, thing. Yes. Um, I, there's a company oh. that, Ink Circles, I've yep. come across a few times now. They sound like my vibe, oh, and nice. I think that would look very cute. And just not, not worry about placement, just do whatever the colours say. But I would have to finish each cross. I'm not so good. I don't think you would. Mm, you just know. continue and you just... I just think they're, they're so beautiful to look at. I, that made me happy. The whole, bag, the whole bag made me happy. And it made my hubby happy because I, I, he was really <laughs> tired when I finally got home because yeah. I, I had a another commitment. And when I finally got home, after having stopped at Victoria's... Yeah, to, to show open, me on the way yeah. back, yep. Um, Martin desperately wanted to sleep. I was like, darling, look at this. <laughs> oh, he's happy. Oh. Anyway, so that's really beautiful. And we got, so we got some... Oh, let's show the card, though. Oh, the card. Beautiful card. Oh, isn't that lovely? I mean, I'm a terrible human. I don't bother with cards and stuff like that. I'm kind of lazy. I have really good lovely. intentions, but I'm just... And I love hydrangea, so you chose very well. Thank you so much. Yeah. 
And so there's some Ada, which Catherine and I decided that we're going to hand dye. Yes, naturally good, dye. Naturally hand dye. Apparently we're using onions. Onion, I thought onion skins and flax. Flax, yeah. Catherine's more experienced at this than mm. I, so mm. I'll trust her fun. judgment. And we thought that would be a great new thing to do. Yep, and we think we're going to use those for smalls and that sort of thing. Smalls, yep. And then uh, a whole pile of these little, I think they're, oh, where are we? Quilt clips. For binding. For binding. Like yep. When you buy us binding on, that's so yep. cool. Um, a little bag full of of buttons and a number of these buttons have been turned into my new favorite thing which is needle minders <laughs> Blah, they're all magnetizing which victoria together. does use i don't use yeah because i i sew in hand and so it's just too heavy it doesn't do anything but you use hoops i use so hoops so we're all it looks like a lot of fun everything sticking stitching st uh, stitching sticking to each other see isn't that that's a great wee idea magnet stuck to the back of just buttons which is great. I'm a big fan of buttons. I have a, I have a jar of buttons. I didn't know, no. I didn't know that. Yeah. And Catherine said that I've got a jar of buttons too, but my jar of buttons are dinosaurs and my little ponies and little forest animals. And I have mother of pearl buttons. <laughs> <laughs> so that's oh. great. Um, and the other lovely thing, you know how last time I said how for my his eyes on the sparrow mm -hmm. i was going to use the flosses that you had given yes me, yes knowing that i would use these as well well one of the things that came in the packet was um different bags oh and this one's cute as well different bags of like already gathered together so these are most of the greens were in a bag and so i'm going to use that for this oh that's rosewood and the forest I grew think. yes which i bought uh, on Ellen's recommendation from Cross Stitch Power Hour. Yep. I've forgotten the full name. Um, anyway, this is a beautiful maximum cross stitch, maximum cross -stitch power. Hour. Yeah. This is a beautiful pattern. So I thought, wouldn't this be lovely? This will always it's remind beautiful. me of someone that thought of us from across the pond. Yeah. So thank you so much, Carol. Well, your generosity is amazing. We yeah, really appreciate thank you. it. I felt very. We feel very it, touched. It's yeah. so generous because yeah. we know that, you know, stash is precious. And yes. And it will be much used. And in fact, I used this today. Beautiful purple. Um, it's, isn't it funny? Because I love bright colours, but I'm, I'm slightly frightened of purple. I have no oh, purple. Yeah. Because there's that poem, when I'm old, I'll wear purple. Oh. Ah. I, I just, I just, I'm going to become that person. I'm like, oh, not yet. Oh, so I've worn purple for years. Does that from an old soul? You must be. <laughs> Um, I used to wear purple when I was, I don't know, 16, but now I know the poem, I'm like, mm, no. Anyway, I, I don't buy purple, but I was doing a pride flag, and so this came in handy. So oh, it's already been used. Have you, does that mean you've started your pride flag? That, that's so exciting. Well, well. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. I've already been thinking about, you know, I'll have a little bowl at home. Martin's going to love it. Another little bowl at home, displaying my dress. <laughs> That's brilliant. Marvellous. So that's that. Um, um, so what what have we been up to? We went to quiz night. We did. We had a quiz night last night, which is yep. why we are filming this on a Wednesday instead yep. of a Tuesday. So we go to quiz night once a month now. Yep. It's a new thing. New thing. And we came middle of the road, which was pretty good. I think we got eight we did better than middle 17. Of the road. Eight people out of 17 or something. Mm, then, yeah. then you're right. Middle of the road. Middle of the road. <laughs> yeah. It was great. And I, I contributed at least three answers. Yeah. We did way better this time than we did last time, even though we sort of, again, came middle of the pack. Mm. Um, we were able to answer questions in every section. <laughs> yes, even the music <laughs> ones. Even the music one. We're not yeah. really good at the music section. We're um, not as up with it as we should be. Well, for me, a music section would be like, you know... How many string instruments does an orchestra have? Oh, yes, have? yeah, no. Yeah, because me. <laughs> they play 30 to 40 seconds of a clip of a song, mm. and you have to give the name of the song and the artist or the group that um, that uh, perform the, uh, performing the song. Mm. And to get a point, you have to have both ones right. So quite yes. often you can get one or the other. Yeah. But Or some sometimes it's on the tip of your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> That's where it stays. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was good fun. It was great fun. Um, so if you're in Dunedin, if you know, if you know of um, a bar or a pub that does charity quizzes on yes. a Tuesday, we're keen to do a charity one rather than, I mean, it's good to support a local business anyway, but I would like to do a charity one. Um, <clears throat> but 
we can only do it on a Tuesday. Yeah. So, so there's that. Um, I'm going away this weekend and next <sighs> weekend. So we had to fix something on the motorhome. So it's fixed now. And I said, let's go away for the weekend. I've been desperate to go away because I'm very conscious that it's good to give my 19 year old space and to have space for my, my 19 year old. <laughs> um, so we're going away, just ticket touring. We might end up near Christchurch. <clears throat> There's a reserve, tree reserve, something, I don't know. Near Geraldine. So Are you going to go into that? Christchurch? Probably not. No. Um, so we're going to do that. We're not going to do anything exciting. Just, just a chance to read and walk. And oh, lovely. Just uh, be we, away. We are complete povos this fortnight. In New Zealand, you get paid fortnightly. Most A lot of people get paid fortnightly. So this fortnight, I'm a povo. Um, <laughs> so we're not eating out. I'm going to make sure we, we eat what we have in the camper van. Um, and next weekend, we're going to Wellington for Sofita's 21st birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Sofita. Yeah. I, I mispronounced that badly. No, that was good. That was good. <laughs> um, so she's turning 21, and she's invited us to go... She's having a proper party, no speeches. She really doesn't want speeches, so, you know. I hope you've got a little folder of really embarrassing baby photos. Nothing. We don't have anything like that. We're just going to oh. keep it... Oh. You're being sensible. Poor Sofita. She, she just... She wants what she wants, so, you know, I'll just do... I'll just go along with whatever she says. Sure. So, she said no speeches, and then she asked me how what time I was leaving. <laughs> <laughs> You're only allowed half an hour. Uh. But, you know, when your kids are young adults, I think... It's a gift if they want to spend time with you. So if I can have one meal out of it and go to a party, that seems okay. That's lovely. Yeah. We'll have fun. Um, I'm going to try and find uh, a creative, stitchy, knitty shop. There used to be Holland Road Yarn. Holland, Holland Road Yarn store? But that's, that's online now. So um, Yeah, so if we've got any Wellington watches. Yeah. We'll, we'll be kind of centre-ish. Yeah. Anyway, so... That's exciting. That's exciting. And then after that, we can just relax again. Apparently, there's no more celebrations until she's 30. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, I mean, she can have parties with yeah, her yeah, friends, yeah, but, but like a, a She's doing thing. the big ones. Yeah. I had to buy a dress. We went. Yes, Catherine has a beautiful dress. It's, it's got very um, sleeves. And it's green cables. Very, yeah, green cables. Um, but I'm going to give Sophia my dress after, because I don't go to parties. So Aww. there's no need. It was a beautiful dress. You should it have kept it. It is lovely. Down. Well, no, I haven't given it to her yet. Oh. She has to try it on and see if she likes it. Mm. But it's quite exciting, and Christina's coming with us, which is lovely. lovely cause I, I think Christina's lovely too, and I'm really glad that she wants to spend time with us. Lovely. I'm not sure she realised it was a choice, but I'm happy that she's coming. Little family nice. trip. The It'll be us. lovely. Yeah. So we're doing that, and my house is almost finished. Today they should have fitted the fire. <gasps> Excellent. When I, he didn't text me though, <clears throat> so I hope it's all done. Um, but I, I, there was no chance of going today. So on Friday, we're going to go there on the way to our trip. Nice. Check it out. Do you know yeah. when your solar batteries are going in? Well, no, because they're still building the... They're still building the, the shelter. shed. The shed, yeah. 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 So that, and apart from that, I'm just reading a good book. I'm reading Hamnet. Excellent. By Maggie O'Farrell, who I hadn't, I hadn't read before. It's part of my reading group. It's really interesting. So if you are an old soul like me and you like old-fashioned stories so it's kind of historical fiction but it's touching on the plague which is fascinating oh yeah yeah <laughs> you just go oh dead people yeah, no, no, like, oh no, no it's very um pertinent for this current climate oh that's right yeah 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 so i'm not even gonna say it. yeah anyway it's very interesting excellent i'm really enjoying it excellent. anyway um but yeah the, the, the fortnight's gone fast but it's gone um, very fast i think we've had time to make progress yeah, I have... We've um, both made progress, right? Yeah. Right, let's get on with the stitchy stuff. Sure. So, so do you want to go first? Well, we're going to do um, fully finished objects, oh, so FFOs. FFO. Yes. Oh, I don't have any of those. Oh, okay. So I do have one. I have finished. I have framed my friendship tree From by... Shakespeare's Peddler. Shakespeare's Peddler. I'm really happy with this. There was lots... I made lots of changes. So for starters, I didn't pay attention to the colour suggestions. I did my own thing. Different reds, different greens, ran out of greens, used other greens, ran out of reds, used other reds. It's beautiful. And then instead of the people, I put our initials. So Sophia, Christina, Martin, Catherine. With two different fonts from that book by... Brenda Keys. Brenda Keys. You're very good. 
on to it tonight. You and your young brain. <laughs> um, and also my little birds are from my book as well because I didn't like the birds that they had. And they are one over one, but just 10 stitch because when I tried to do a full cross, it just looked weird. Oh, and you're doing it on, what, that was like a 40 count something. This is 46. It? 46. 46 count. And so I had some things framed maybe three months ago now and it cost me $250. <laughs> and I decided that I wasn't going to do that again because I actually just don't have the money. <laughs> <laughs> my mum's calling and she's just popped up on my phone that we're videoing on. I got very confused because it's like, I don't know a Judy Rondell. Just, this is so weird. Why Why would they be calling? This is not my phone. Of course they're not calling me. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Um, yeah, I was really shocked. I mean, I don't have a problem with people earning what they need to earn and materials cost money and stuff. I just don't want to spend $250 on two little frames. Mm. So I just go op shopping now and I just well, I walked into an op shop and they had this and I think it's perfect. Brilliant. So I'm really happy. Three bucks. Excellent. New Zealand. So even less. In... From everywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> Very happy with this. I'm going to put it on my wall. It's, it's on my dining room thingy, but I'm going to put it on my wall. Excellent. I love it. Right. What about finished objects? I have I a finished have object. This, you do. I have a medium sized finished object too. No one's going to be surprised. Drum roll, drum, drum roll. roll. Whilst you're talking, I'm going to have a bit more of my chocolate. I've lost my um, the card. So this is, oh no, there it is. Uppercase uh, ABC Art Nouveau Water Lily by Filigram. And now mum is sending texts. Here it is. <laughs> it's all done. Do -do 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 -do. And it's stunning. I've cut the fabric off. So this was done on a 32 count Silvery Moon from number 12 Stitch Co, which is an Etsy shop. And I'm holding this upside down. Message. Yes, it was Etsy, it wasn't she? I've just realised you said number 12, didn't you? Yeah. It is an Etsy, you're right. Yeah. And I've done it in the called for over dyed floods. I think they were classic colour work ones. And it is gorgeous. I am so pleased with it. And anyone who's even tempted to do it, go for it. Um, I would consider this to be a fairly quick stitch, I think. Um, but I'm super pleased. It was very enjoyable to do. Can I interject? You can indeed. Okay, so I love your work, but the thing, and I, on the paper, mm -hmm. you can't tell this, on the, on the thing, those backstitch fish are absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Because when you were stitching, I was like, are you gonna bother with the fish? Yeah. But then yeah. once you did it, it was like, oh my goodness, that really makes so, it. Yeah, but like anything, I mean, everyone knows this, the thing in real life is so much better than the picture. But it's just so beautiful, you know, it's just that the one strand, oh, it's just so elegant. Yeah. So, so elegant, really beautiful. And are you going to, do you want me to teach you how to do the drawn thread? Ooh, um, may as well. Because I'm going to, I'll eventually I'll find a frame for this. See, look, there's a fish up close. Very beautiful. So cute. I think that my favourite thing of the whole thing is the fish. The fish, yeah. Isn't that funny? Isn't that crazy? Considering that I started out by like, are you going to bother? Are you going to bother? Me, it's a pattern. Yes, of course I'm going to bother. <laughs> anyway, so that is now a finished object. Woo -woo. So I'll show you. I'm keen. I'm, I'm keen to see if you like doing yes, the Yes, yes. I definitely having... want to learn to do that. So yes. Great. In a fornoy. Because I'm In a fornoy when you're back. <laughs> oh, yes. well, it'll be a couple of weeks. You're away. Well, what, what will I do? I know. I know. Oh. And but we'll see. You. I'll see you in between on the Tuesdays. Yes. Um. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I've done an FFO, you've done an FFO. Do you have anything else that you finished? No, that's it. You can't expect too much. Great. It's only been two weeks. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right. So how about we do our whips? Our whips. Our works in progress. I've All got, right. I've got quite a lot. I made progress in lots of things. I made progress on four things. So do you want to go? I did not count. <laughs> <laughs> I had time to count. I just oh. didn't. Um, okay. So shall we do turnabout? Yeah. I'll do one, you do one. Yep. Okay. So this is my alphabet. And this is the Bristol Orphanage Red Alphabet. I'm trying to read it backwards from Jane Greenoff's book. And I love this little alphabet. And what I was thinking is all those flosses I'm going to put in a bowl and I'm going to cover them with these. Beautiful. Like I saw someone on Instagram do and I thought that was so cute. I've done loads here. So I, I am now, I finished the alphabet. 
No, you haven't, because you haven't put the in Don't yet. Start. Yes, I have. I did it. Where? Oh, darn it, I didn't. I did it on the <laughs> other one. I've done another one with an in in you. Yeah, you have. Your, your um, Kiwi one. Yeah. Oh, I was going to do it before today, <laughs> drat. Anyway, so I finished oh. most of the alphabet, and you may remember that I did a bit of... Jiggery pokery? Jiggery pokery around here, because I, I knew I had to move things around to include the enya. So what I did is the thing that I took out, I put here. Oh, lovely. And I think it looks whimsical and cute. It's so nice. I'm, I'm really happy. Very happy. I'm amazed that, because... Yep. So, assuming that this is the full size, that the alphabet's only half the, half the thing. But oh, I know yes. there's heaps of rows of stuff up the top. And then, and, then, and then it ends with this, but then after that, it has a, like a curly cue thing yeah. as well. This is so lovely. I love this one. Yeah. I mean, if I could live my life again, I would have done that. Just a wider gorgeous. border. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Remember your hem allowance. I was so excited about using my, my colleague's scissors. This was at work in our lunchtime. He lent me his, his scissors are amazing. They're like proper <gasps> steel. Good. And they were like... <sighs> And I was like, oh my god, this is like... And then I thought, well, that's yeah. really short. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what uh, else? Um, so, yeah, lots of progress in this. Excellent. So I try and do I try and do a run between things. I think so, you've done more than a run this, this time, I did, you? I did. You might have done two. That's I did so one exciting. and a half, yeah. So happy, happy. Excellent. So I'm going to start off with the one that I've made, excuse me, <coughs> the least progress on. So this is my Linen and Threads Mystery Sampler for 2017. Now I did quite a bit of this, I haven't been doing my 24-7, I'm really bad at it. Um, but I have now officially finished two months worth and it's only taken me about six months. But oh, you've done other things. But I've been doing other things. So basically I finished off the line down the bottom, which is, if I bring it close, it's like this, where is my finger? There. Checkerboard bit down there. And I've started on this side the next month. So, steady as she goes, but yeah, I'm really loving it. Yes, it, it's looking beautiful. And look at how much, how big your borders are. I know, <laughs> look at all the seam allowance, look at that, go three inches. It is recommended. <laughs> no, they recommend between one and three. Everything I've seen is And three. they mean inches, not centimetres. <laughs> I was watching, uh, I've been watching uh, Daybreak Stitchery, mm -hmm. and uh, oh, she lives dangerously. <laughs> <laughs> and not from cutting, she actually goes right to the selvage. It's like, oh. she's got like three lines. I was like, why do you, anyway, she lives dangerously. Good, Good on her. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, so what, what next? Oh yeah, so I made progress on my... Uh, what's, what's the company? I've forgotten the name of the company. Oh, Linen and Thread. Linen and Threads. Um, so I'm doing the 2020 Mystery Sampler. And that is going really well. <laughs> In fact, silly me. I was like, oh, the next page is only one symbol. It's yeah. enormous. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because you were telling me you are going to do it really quickly because there's only one motif yeah, on the page. there's only one motif. What are they playing at? <laughs> no, it's going, it's taking forever. So there it is. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, so I just decided that. Because initially, when I thought it was nothing, I was like, oh, I'll just get this done and then move on. But it took so long. This is probably three days' work. And of course, I made mistakes. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> so I, I redesigned the thing. I was like, no, this needs a, 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 an extra bit in the, in the handles. <laughs> Excellent, yeah. So I'm happy with that. It's lovely. But it's amazing how you miss things. Do the whole thing. It's amazing how Look you can be... You can be cross stitching and you're doing a busy thing and then you and then you move on and then you later on when you come back you realise you missed crossing some, some you missed, mistakes. Well I I realise, I realise <laughs> if you just did it cross and back and across and back like Where's the fun in that? <laughs> Good lord. Uh, that's lovely. I am very I happy love with this. And the look at the, you've made and look at the generous hemming there is going yes, to be. Yes, look at that. There's the good three inches. <laughs> that seems like such a waste. Oh, I know, but it's not. <laughs> so Nitya, she's, she's shown up in progress and she's started here. <laughs> Don't know about that. Oh. 
Anyway, this is good fun. It's lovely, that. I'm very happy with this. And I think I'm going to be able to use my antique... Th my antique oh, your frame. frame, yeah. Nice. So this is what this is. For anyone who's interested, mm. Catherine is doing this in DMC. What is it? Uh, 106. And so the, the gradations in the thread. I do play around with it because... There's only so much peach I can take, <laughs> so it's mostly orange, and sometimes I throw in a bit of peach to just to remind the universe that it is a variegated thread. Excellent. Like I did, you know, I, I did. Yeah. I do have a bit of variegation. But, That's you know, lovely. I'm more of an orange than a peach sort of person. Melon. Not so much melon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's, oh. that goes well. I kind of feel like, obviously I failed today, but if I can do one page between um, floss tubes, that's good. That's excellent. Yeah, obviously I can't. <laughs> it's good to have goals. Right. Yes. Uh, so my next one is the Blackbird <coughs> Designs Merrily Merrily We Welcome Spring. Now, I was looking at this yesterday and I actually haven't made much progress in this either. But, and it's hard to see because of course I've used threads very similar colour to the fabric. But I have done, well, about half of what's there. I've done the other half the week before, the fortnight before. But I've added the flowers, so everything in red, and the leaves. And this is a lovely wee one, it is coming along nicely. And it's a one over one on a 28 count. It's very dainty, isn't it? It is very dainty. Like, the, the thing is going to be dainty in itself, but also yep. the design. The, it is, the it's, little, it's like little rosebuds, isn't yep. it? Yeah, it's very dainty. It's, it's very, lovely. Very and I'm loving the fabric we're doing it on, it's very complementary to the colours. Is this one over one? It is one over one, but it's on 28 count, so... It's about the same size as your two over or one over two. Okay, so Nitya, she does one over one quite often. You'll like her. Yeah. So that's where I've got with that one. Great. Um, what else? What else? Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, is this what you were using the purple for? Yes. Oh, I'm so excited to see what you've done. So this is the Miss Bingley's library. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Is this one Shakespeare's Peddler? No. Plum Street Sampler. I, I seem to like Plum Street Sampler. Sampler I think you just love the wonky. Anyway, I made loads of progress on this. I've just seen what she's done. Oh. It's amazing. Um, so, we're going like, we to gonna have to. Oh, you're going to do a grand reveal. Yeah, so the first <laughs> thing that I did, I'm not sure you can tell. I have done all the outside of the white, so I still have to do the internal walls. But I've done, I've made loads of progress on the white, which took forever. Oh wow, the house isn't as tall as I thought it was. I know, it's quite squat. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny, it's, it's, it's funny how your eye tricks you. Yeah. Because I think of it as a grand Georgian house, and it's actually quite Yeah, squat. but it's no, it's quite rectangular. But it's still three levels, because the door Yeah, the door at the top. Although it's probably squat because that massive flower pot is pushing it <laughs> Anyway, today in my lunch hour, I worked from home today, so it was great. I don't have to go anywhere, just... Look at that flag! I did my pride flag. It is gorgeous! So you can't see because it's so minute, but it's got white, then it goes on to pink, then it goes on to sky blue. Then it goes on to brown, then it goes on to black, and then you start with the old pride flag, which is red, orange, yellow... Green, blue, and purple. purple from a gift. So I'm going to ask you this question, and you probably you may not know the answer, or it's at the tip mm -hmm. of your tongue. What's the new pride flag called? I know it's got a name, and I can't remember. Oh, it. I don't know what it's called. Oh. I just thought it was just a it's modern, beautiful. yeah, trans inclusive, yeah, Black Lives Matter pride flag. Yeah, it's the all the alphabet flag. Yeah, no, I th I just think it's great. I think, and I think it's really good. Uh, whoever thought of including the other colours, I think Brilliant. it's fabulous. I think yeah. that's the only like that I would use now but anyway I think Jane Austen back in the day she wouldn't have understood but if she lived in 2021 she would totally have a pride flag yeah with her tank card <laughs> <laughs> anyway I'm really happy because sometimes I'm all talk and no yeah. action no it's so gorgeous I've, I've done it. have a luck it's so good it's so good I did end up having to do it a little bit can you see longer because um that is so good there weren't enough lines for the for the horizontal colors so i just made it longer on the side so it's not oh, even it's picky. it's gorgeous it's three it's seven yep seven deep no it's beautiful i'm really happy with that oh little things like that make me happy 
and I told um, and it works so well with the, the sorry. colors sorry you because you've mixed the colors some up of them in the box. some of them I've used yeah it's so good so good yes so I'm very happy with that um, and of course this is and I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with a quote like I bought it because of the quote but now you're not sure. But now I'm like, I want to have something in Spanish. Do I do I find a translation of that? Anyway, it's very busy in my head. I'm thinking about it. Oh, Danos would be awesome in Spanish. Well, no, because they tend to translate. Actually, things have changed a little bit. Back in the day, they would have translated anything in English to Spanish Spanish. Sure. And it sounds very different, and it's not what I prefer. Okay. Because it is it is quite different. Like, I don't speak like that. Um, they can, we can understand each other, of course. It's like American English and British English, or, mm. or New Zealand English. Uh, we can understand each other, but it's not my preference. Uh, and pr there's probably more difference between Spanish, Spanish, in, in the Spanishes than in the Englishes. Sure. <laughs> yep. Um, but now, quite often, they, they have Mexican translations, which is still different, Ooh. but nearer to Peruvian Spanish. Okay. All that to say, I don't. Know. You don't know what you're gonna do. <laughs> Probably nothing. Uh, so that's that. What's your next one? So my next one is I have been working on Autumn Quakers by Rosewood Manor. And I have made... That was very quick. Oh. But was, she's knocking my cards off. Sorry. Here we are. I'm ruining her system. You are ruining my system. See, whilst you're pretending to iron it on your leg. Yep. <laughs> I did think about getting the iron out, but it doesn't happen. So, for those of you who don't know, this is what it is going to look like eventually. Do you know, I've been watching so many floss tubes this fortnight. So many people are doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I did it first. No, I didn't. Heaps of people have done this. Uh, look how gorgeous that is. I was unsure about this one when I started it. I was super, super excited to get the delivery because I'm using the um, Valdini, whatever those weird threads are. Valdani. Valdani, that's them. I don't know. And I wasn't so sure when I started it, but now I've covered more. I'm absolutely loving it. It's so beautiful. It is really beautiful. And it's coming along just nicely. It's coming along really fast. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. The birds. The birds are gorgeous. I'm super pleased. I've probably spent the most time on this one in the last fortnight. Is this over two? It is two over two <laughs> on a 32 count linen. You're not finding the two strands annoying? No, not at all. Nice. No. Lovely. I'm loving it. And I have officially now finished a whole page. So what I was telling I'm you... I'm laughing at your, your, all that hem allowance. <laughs> yeah, all my hem. Let's hope, I've, let's hope I've calculated correctly and I can get it right across the page. Ha uh ha. -huh. But oh, I, was, I was on an interesting thing that no one will find interesting but me. What was I saying? Yes. Okay. So I have, I have officially finished a page... But what I do when I do a motif, if a motif crosses over the page, I do the whole motif. So really what I've done is a page and, you know, a third of one and a half of the other. So it's coming along nicely. So can you remind me about shout outs? Shout outs, okay. Are we doing those? I need to do those. Okay. Need. Need. Well, let's finish whips and then we'll do them. Yep. Have you got another one? Um, yes. Gosh, look how busy we've been. Busy little bees. This just keeps on giving. And I've only just checked that we are filming. Usually after our um, <laughs> <laughs> after our um, terrible time we had on our second or third video where we talked for about 15 minutes and then realised I hadn't pressed record. I normally check one or two minutes into it, but no, I, haven't, I am recording. We were too busy checking out your mum's messages. We were. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is my... Oh, no, that's not. His eye is on the sparrow. I'm just trying to see if... I think my card's in here. Yeah. His eye is on the sparrow by Heartstring Sanctuary. And, and this is a beast of a thing, which I love. Taking it out so I've actually, it doesn't reflect as much. I actually think that my preference is for these mahoosive things that will take me six years. Oh, really? I think so. I love the idea of just having one project, actually. Nice. I'm going to whistle down my things to get to the point where I just have two or three things. That take forever. This is going to be nice. a really interesting floss. Yeah, people will be thrilled. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm Lining up to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I've done half this motif. Um, anyway, so I was already, I've, I've threaded it, I was all ready to do turquoise. And then I realized actually I still needed to do the branches. <laughs> oh, then. Isn't that a thing of beauty? Your colors you're doing in this are amazing. Yes. 
I am so excited. In fact, now that I've got all of the ca all colors those, that Carol sent us. Yeah, put it on there. Over there. So, imagine what it's going to look like using those colors. Because um, I was on Instagram today and I follow lots of um, uh, artisans from different countries in Latin America. So I, I follow a few Peruvian ones and I follow a few Mexican ones. I actually, I think that's it, Peru and Mexico. Maybe my favorite countries in the entire world. Anyway, there is, and I, I posted something on my stories today because there's an exhibition of indigenous, I don't think it was called that, but it's um, indigenous groups exhibiting their artisan wares. Mm -hmm. And there is a group called Donahi, correct me if I'm wrong, Otomi, which do these amazing, massive like bedcloths and stuff. And they are all hot colors, like the archetypal mm -hmm. um, Mexican colors. So yep. Mexican pink, lime, it, oh, amazing. Beautiful. So that's what this is gonna look like, just full of colors. It's gonna Cannot be wait to see what you do. I'm very excited. And then when someone asks you for your thread conversion. <laughs> <laughs> is there what else one? <laughs> Um, but can uh, I just say, so so that's the colour and, and it's lovely and everything, but I love that. Oh my god, that is so beautiful to me. The leaves are gorgeous. Gorgeous, such a simple design. Do you know designers are clever? So beautiful. And yet it looks so different from the, the original. Yeah, yeah, from the original, which is muted. Oh. Yeah, so this is a very... For a bit, you it wasn't, obviously it wouldn't have been this muted. Is this a... I don't think it's, a oh, no, it's original design. Yeah, but you know how with um, the original ones are all faded, I and mean, then you look at the back, and they're hot pinks, and well, not quite hot pink, yeah. but you know. But I don't think my aesthetic is the Anglo aesthetic. No, no. <laughs> I'm coming more from. It's not my Scottish side that's coming to the fore. It's my Peruvian <laughs> side. Although I'm sure plenty of Peruvians would disagree with me, and they would say that they like muted tones. Oh, whatever. Um, anyway, I love this, and I was just thinking, oh my god, this is going to be my new obsession because I love that, and I just the idea of having to do it all the way around is just the best. Nice. So I'm excited about that. So that's it, a tiny little bit of progress. Oh, my nose is itchy. Okay. So the final one I have been working on is the Red House Sampler by the Sampler Company. And oh, these are ones, the latest ones. That these are the latest ones that arrived the other week. Yep. You with your mission of starting out 600 things. Yep. Oh, and it's great. I've had um, the threads I ordered from Australia have arrived, so I've got I've kitted up some other sets. So it will look like that one eventually. Um, someone was saying on the floss tube today that they counted up their whips. 60. I thought there's a challenge. There's a challenge. Yeah. I have to do some more shopping for that. Sorry, yes. my needles just jabbed me in the knee. So I have made a fair bit of progress on this. I've done half the trees. I've done this big pink flower motif. And I have started the blue flower motif just after work today. I love, love, I mean the trees are gorgeous. Yeah. You're going really fast on this. This one seems to be just, yeah. Are, are you taking it to work? No, I don't, I don't, I don't take craft to work unfortunately. Mm. This is just done at home. But it's lovely, it's, it doesn't seem to be taking too much time. So. I think it's because there's that little motifs and you're like, yeah, not, you're not, just, some of the, the other motifs are big. Yeah. So that does take a while. Yeah. And there's not a lot of, um, not an awful lot of colour changes in them. So I'm loving this one at the moment and I'm really, I would have said I'm not usually one to put it on a bright white cloth, but I'm really pleased I did. I think it's really making it pop. Nice. It I won't be bright white when it's finished. It'll be covered in like chip crumbs and a bit of chocolate That's in the corner. Right. That's fine. Lived in. Um, okay. Uh, so that's all my whips. It's going to be a bit of a tidy up today. That's all right. Anyway. Okay, so the next one I made progress on is the Heartstring Samplery. Oh no, hang on. Whip It Good by Heartstring. Whip It Good, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not cool like that. <laughs> um, that one, which had to be explained to me what it meant because it was a song. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, did we mention we don't do very well on the music bit? I, the I, am, the, yeah, I am the cool floss tuber. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I finished another page. Which I thought I almost was there, but it did take oh, a little wow. while. So I finished another page, and I've gone over it here. I've gone over it onto page number three. Geez, you must be about ready to just do the, the solid bit. There we are, under there. Well, you can tell where I am, because yeah. they're all the same. Oh, true. Yeah, so, oh, yeah, I'm, so I'm like here, line. so I still have this much to do. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. But I'm, I'm loving this. 
And it is funny, there was a lot of talk in a couple of floss tubes that I watched about the coverage, so whether whether you can still see fabric past the stitches, and you totally can here. So this is, I think, a 32. So remember at the beginning, I, I bought a few different counts from one yeah. to three stitch because I wanted to try the different counts. And see what and we so, see where your comfort zone is. Yeah, and so this is a 32 count, and I am still using just one thread. And I just think it's a different look. I don't hate it. I, yeah. You know, I love it as much as I love the others. But it's, it suits that really well. Yeah, I'm, I'm just really happy with this. I love it so much. This is what they would call Mexican pink, I think. Although it looks muted because of the fabric. I love it. I love these pops of colour. So I'm excited about this. You haven't hemmed this one yet. No, because this is the one that came overlocked. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait till you're finished. Yeah, I think I am totally obsessed. I'm going to continue to do draw It looks amazing. Yeah, it I looks it. amazing. I and it's, it's such a meditative thing and you just don't want to stop. Nice. In fact, it, it made me laugh because in case it's not obvious, I'm not one to go to classes. That's not my natural. I, I always just think, oh, I'll just, I'll just figure it out. Um, which is just one way. Other people like going to classes and that's fine. But um, I came across a few adverts for that on Instagram. And in my head, I'm like, well, I just Googled it. <laughs> and, then, and then I did it. So that's interesting to me. Yeah, YouTube will teach you how to do anything these days. In fact, it wasn't, it was, it wasn't even YouTube. I, I did it from like, it was on, on the online. Oh, okay, so just like a, a photo. it was writing and photos. Excellent. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how many people are doing videos of this. It's quite an old-fashioned technique. And it always makes me laugh. And it's the same with any embroidery. People always say, oh my God, it's going to take you forever. Well, it's going to take a, t a piece of time. Yeah. But it definitely will take longer if you don't start. <laughs> Absolutely. So, anyway, I also made progress on my New Zealand sampler. And I'm very happy with this. For those of you who are new, welcome. This New Zealand sampler is one that Catherine is making up. So the, the crow here is a Quaker crow from the wood basket. Yes, very good. And the rest of it Catherine has made up and it's amazing. Yes. So I've got the design now for... So this is Kofi, which is a New Zealand bush tree. Um, and I've got a little house from... A little library near here which is not part of our library centralized library service but it's a little library from the old-fashioned days and it's very adorable so it's gonna be there and there's gonna be a, a caca beak tree ab above it going over it but I've put the alphabet I've started on the alphabet and I did do my Enya. Yay. now this alphabet is also from your my, from that book from Brenda Kay's book yeah because I yeah. yes so it was really it was really interesting because I mean, well, the book has got all the pages, and so you can't compare one from the other. So what I did is I photocopied like six pages, and then I could see them one next to the other, mm -hmm. and then I decided that way. Nice. It was kind of yeah, it was an interesting process, and and I am going to do an alphabet in English as well, but it's going to be different, um, probably smaller to fit in more in that space. Um, and I've been reading up on Scottish samplers, so because I'm half Scottish. I want it to look Scottish, um, well, well, to, to have a nod at yep. Scotland. So I can either go with red and green, that's very Scottish apparently, Okay. or more colours. Sometimes they just did like two letters in one colour and then, so they might have used four colours for their alphabets, but red and green is very common. I just hesitate because it sounds Christmassy. Oh, was, that was the first place yeah, my mind yeah, went to. Yeah. Yep. So I think I'll use more colours, but there'll still be variation. Yeah. Um, but I've got my... Um, I've got my embroidered stories book. So I've been thumbing through this and just looking at pictures and going, yeah, I like that. And then seeing the, um, the things that are shared, the common... Yeah, um, common elements. Yeah. So, um, so I don't know how much you'll be able to see, but you can see this one. It's red and green alphabet. Ah, oh, nice. So it's not Christmassy red and green, but still, I'm not sure about that. Mm -hmm. Um, but there are also others where they use more colours. See? Another red and green. Another red and green. It's very common. Maybe you have to do it red and green. No, yeah. you don't have to do anything. But And also, uh, a peacock is quite a Scottish thing to have in. I think a crown is also quite a Scottish thing to have. So I don't know. Um, there you go. Red and green. So it's just really interesting to kind of um, do this as well as trying to make my own desi yeah. design. I like that. Oh gosh, in fact, excuse me a moment. 
Sofita, so my daughter Sofia is doing a degree in law, I think and media now. The minor, well she's doing a double degree, but anyway. Law continues, but she's also doing, she was doing politics and then she was doing international relations. She might be doing politics and media, I'm not sure, something like that. She sent me this essay, because she, she knows I don't want to study anymore. Sure. But she sent, oh, 50 minutes, ah. Um, she sent me this essay to read. Um, and it was all about when you're not one only thing and how you don't feel like you belong anywhere. And I was like, oh, oh you belong everywhere. <laughs> no, no, but it's a thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, being in Peru, I never felt that people felt that I was Peruvian enough. And that continues. Really? Wow. I don't look Peruvian. And I don't sound terribly Peruvian, you know, I've always spoken a little bit differently. So there's, there's always this sense that you're not quite the real yep. thing. And then, you know, I'm, I definitely don't sound Scottish. If I could have a Scottish <laughs> accent, that would be grand. But I don't sound Scottish. So you, I'm never Scottish enough. So and anyway, this whole essay was about this, about the media and um, ethnicity. And of course, then there was a definition of ethnicity. And I, I never knew that. Ethnicity is not, I thought ethnicity was to do with kind of your genes, like there is a gene pool that makes you Peruvian. No, it's to do with culture and nation. Oh. Yeah, this was the Oxford definition, but I never knew that it was to do with culture. I thought ethnicity was a more biologically Same. based decision. Yep. So anyway, it was very interesting and it, I'd spent the rest of the day thinking about that. So, oh. yes. so is this an essay that, she, uh, that Sophia had written? Or? Yes. yes, she'd written this essay to do, to do with... Um, media and ethnicity and, and how the way that media portrays things influences us. Oh, sounds interesting. <sighs> it was heavy reading. <laughs> Emotionally heavy reading. Yes, and then I'll... It obviously stayed with you, which is, I mean, it must be good. I bet you should get a yeah. good mark for it. Well, I hope she gets a good mark. But then there's also that thing of, um, you don't have people like you. Yeah. I don't have other Peruvian Scottish people mm -hmm. <laughs> around me. Yet, I'm sure it, that we'll get comments saying, I'm Peruvian Scottish, let's be friends. All right, if you're Peruvian Scottish, let's be friends. <laughs> if you're Peruvian Scottish, you were born in Iquitos, and then you moved all around the country, yeah, let's be friends. That'd be great. <laughs> Thanks. Actually, the, the hilariousness of the Instawebs, you never know. You never know. Yeah. In fact, I follow um, a, a woman from the Pharaohs. I, I really admire her. <laughs> and she posted something, and I said, can we... Can you, can you come to New Zealand and we hang out? <laughs> and she said, you're on. I was like, oh my God, this is hilarious. In that way in that, way that Instagram works, oh. wouldn't it be hilarious if she did come? <laughs> I'd be like, oh, oh. be my friend. Anyway. Oh. Oh. Is that the end of your whips? Yes. Excellent. Shout outs. I don't want to forget these shout outs. Sure. Um, so Daybreak Stitchery. She gave us a shout out months ago. And I still hadn't caught up. Um, I'm not watching a lot of your floss tube. I'm watching knitting podcasts at the moment because I'm a bit obsessed with knitting. Um, but Nitya gave us a shout out and I've been um, watching as fast as I can to catch up to the end. I think I'm in April now. Oh, excellent. April or May. Um, but I really like her because she's a craftivist and so she's... Um, she's I really like that thing that she was saying that she doesn't, she doesn't feel emotionally attached to reproduction samplers. Like... Very pretty. She understands other people doing it, but it doesn't mean anything to her. So she bought like a multi-pack of samplers and it came with a reproduction. You always look at me funny like, all right, Catherine. No, 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 no. I'm just interested. I'm listening. <laughs> this is judgment free. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and so she got the sampler and she was like, oh, what am I going to do? So what she's decided to do is she's going to take the house away. Sure. And it, the, the, the phrase is something to do with hope. And so she's going to embroider the names of women that give her hope now. That's like an amazing Michelle Obama. idea. There's lots of... Um, uh, there is that uh, member of... I want to say member of parliament. Congresswoman. Oh. Oh, Ortasio um, Ortiz. Oh, I see. Or what you Always, yeah. yeah. I mean, this is a Spanish Cortes. name. Um, uh, yeah. Everyone knows who we're talking about. Yes. <laughs> her. I should know her name, but yep. I'm not American, so... Um, and the poet, and, and she's done another piece where she's, she's, she's made um, some of the poetry lines from the young poet that was there at the oh, inauguration. Oh, that was, she was an amazing poet. So she's doing really cool That's stuff amazing. like that. So I was uh -huh. like, oh, very interesting. I try nice. not to spam her with comments, but it was very interesting. So that her, her name is Nitya, 
and she is day, daybreak samplery, daybreak stitchery. God, we're terrible at this. Yeah, we terrible. I. Oh. Um, anyway, she's great. Yes. Um, who? Oh, Pennington Terrace. Or is it Pennington Street? God, I'm terrible. We <laughs> should have written these down. Because I forgot about <laughs> shout right. outs. Anyway, always exciting to discover um, Australia, New Zealand um, stitches. stitches. Yep. I mean, part of the thing that I like is discovering people from other cultures. So if people have, like, you know, Peruvians or Mexicans doing floss tubes, I, I follow a few, but other cultures fascinate me. So are there any Indian floss tubers? That would be interesting. Yeah. Is there anyone from the Faroe Islands doing a floss tube? That would be interesting. It's just so removed from my life experience. Um, so Pennington Terrace, she was kind of cool. Um, what can I say about her? She... She was influenced by Victoria <laughs> yes. to buy something. <laughs> Where have I, gosh, I'm a little bit unorganised. I don't think I've got it with me right here. So she had done um, Pumpkin Farm, which I finished. It's over there. Yeah. Um, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. She started it, and I hope she's loving it as much as I did. Yes. It was such a fun stitch. And she had, um, gosh, she had a whole I think she's called whips. Amanda. God, I'm terrible at this. Um, what I liked about her, and you should watch her for this reason, mm -hmm. she uses bright colours for her fabrics. So she had quite a few different blues, and I was mm -hmm. like, ooh. Yep. That sounded interesting to yep. me. And she was stitching for her family too, which I really appreciated because Catherine's always saying, you give away so much of your craft. Oh, do I? Yeah, you do. You're always on it because I'm doing something <laughs> Definitely with a quilt. You're like, oh my God. Well, so Victoria's, Victoria's a New Zealander. <laughs> so she values cousins far more than I do. <laughs> so oh. I wasn't brought up um, with close family. So it was my, my dad and my siblings, my dad, mom and siblings. So this idea of like giving gifts to your cousins or knowing their birthdays is so alien to me. Oh. In New Zealand, everybody knows all their cousins and they don't stop at first cousins. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> so like every so often they'll be like, oh, I'm making this for a cousin, this quilt for a cousin. Well, usually only for their first baby because by the time they have their second one, I'm just like, no, you've already had one. <laughs> hand me downs, people, hand me downs. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Look after it and it'll last you all through all your kids. Yes. Um, so yeah, I really appreciated just someone um, showcasing different um, different ways of doing things because I, I know that with the fabric, I get stuck in those soft greys. Mm -hmm. Probably quite helpful with all my <laughs> bang, bang, It does bang, make bang all your colours pop. Yeah. yeah. Um, so she's really cool. So go and um, give her a follow. She also lived in Spain, so she sometimes messages me in Spanish, which is kind of nice. cute. I like it. Yeah. Nice. Oh, and also, <laughs> shout out to Tom Daly. This is terrible. So Tom Daly, British diver, okay? Me being the sports guru that I am, I thought he was a swimmer. <laughs> oh. Anyway, he has a, uh, an Instagram account. Sure. For like Tom Daly, I am a sports person, but he also has one like made by Tom Daly with love or something like that. Um, oh, this is one you were showing me. Yes, and I just, just, I just love him. So he crochets and he knits and then he gives to charity. So, so he, he does, he does, charity, he does like he? a raffle and then the money um, goes to charity, which is blooming fantastic. And then it turns out he's a diver. <laughs> God, I'm terrible. Like, okay. I'm terrible My ignorance. Board. Is this a, a diver diving off a diving board or a diver with a snorkel? No, it's, it's the Olympics. Oh, it's Olympic, right. Yes. So, you can tell we're really Made with people. Love by Tom Daly. And they were amazing. Catherine was showing me that last night at the quiz. It's just so cute. And then he posted something because he's made a... A metal cozy. I'm like, how cute is that? Um, uh, so, anyway. And there he is telling us about his metal cozy. Good on him. Go then. Did he win a medal or is that a fake medal? No, he's won a medal. He's really oh, good. So, so he's like really good. <laughs> so we know nothing. Go Tom! Um, <laughs> um, uh, so I'm messaging with Paula. Sure. In Portugal, she actually watches sport. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, oh, I'm, I'm talking to her about Tom Daly for some reason. I don't know how it came up. Talking about Tom Daly. Not a clue that he's a diver. <laughs> I thought he was a swimmer. <laughs> anyway, she says it's worth... Because he did synchronised diving, which I didn't even know existed. Oh, that's when two so of them two jump. people, and they have to be synchronised, like, at the same time, do the thingies at the same time. See, I'm all about the sport. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> totally all got all the terminology. I love it how when the Olympics come on, we're all like now experts in all these sorts of different. Um, oh no, no, I'm sports. not. So I'm like, oh no, no, that one's only worth like a four point two. I mean, he, he his left foot was like pointing well, you the wrong might. way. You know, I I don't engage in such conversations. These people are amazing. Yes, I know. I'm very much supporting the. Um, and I did diving. Um, did you for a year? Gosh, you're such a sporty person. When I was young, it is painful people painful when you get it wrong so I probably did up to I don't know four meters or I don't know some hideous and then when you get it wrong and even land on your back Ooh. so by the time you get to Tom Daly's you know it probably doesn't hurt anymore because you know what you're doing <laughs> to land on his back anyway anyone that crafts and he Way raised yes and he raised over five thousand pounds for a brain tumor cancer um charity good on him isn't Excellent. that amazing? The power of crafting. Power of crafting. And being famous and really good at something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but look, we knew about him for his craft and not his sport, so. Yes. I no, I actually knew knew when he first came out, which was when he was much younger. And I hadn't realised it had been years ago because I thought he was still about eighteen. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Anyway, so that's um Is that all our whips? Oh that's, that's all, all we've whips. done that. That yes. was shout outs. That was shout outs. So I'm not a shopper but Right, so I like I said, I had some flosses arrive. Um, you cracked into them. I cracked into them. I don't think people are particularly interested in um, normal flosses. So these are just overdyed flosses. These are for my uh, winter rose manor. I think I'm going to do it on the same fabric that I did the ABC Art Nouveau on. Just beautiful. So just flosses. Someone was saying that they'd flip the fabrics. I don't know. They bought. They bought the the, the four. Mm-hmm. But they thought the winter one was better with a, another fabric of the four. And oh. they look really pretty. I remember no details, so that's not helpful, is it? Oh, is that for the, the Quaker, like the Quaker one? No, I don't know. We've let that story's a bit lost. I'm just excited because I thought I'd finished my chocolate and I found another bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Well, All right. do you want to eat your chocolate and I'll talk about it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, those flosses. Is this new? No, no. This oh, is okay. one I bought ages ago and I've been dying to start it. So this is Winter Rose Manor by, it's a Brenda Gervais one. That's a big house. Which I have talked about starting about eight times on this podcast. On this boss <laughs> Um But now I have all the threads and I've got the fabric and I'm all ready to go. So that's going to be my new start for the next fortnight. Whoop, whoop. Great. I bought... A book. Colour Confident Stitching. So that, remember when I did my half orange, which I still haven't finished. <laughs> so my teacher recommended this book. Now this is by a lady called Karen Barbe. She is Chilean, she lives in America. And there is an, a Spanish version of this, which was $20 more expensive. So Ooh. I bought the English version. But it's like an encyclopedia of how color works and how to choose it for specifically for embroidery projects. Wow. It is quite good. So I'm not sure if it was wise of me to buy this because I'm quite an intuitive picker. Yeah, but and you I'm, love I'm a very, book. And I'm very happy with my choices, but I do love a book. <laughs> <laughs> and these have got beautiful, full-colour, glossy pictures. Yes, and I think um, I will learn from this. But it is hefty. There is a lot of information in here. And no doubt Victoria will also benefit from this. Yeah, I'm going to have a waist make you love. Yeah, so um, you can buy it in English or in Spanish. But apparently cheaper in English. Cheaper in English. I'm still surprised that you bought it in English, if it was an option, even if it was more. I know. It's because my babies, I can't influence them in the same way. When I could still make them read things in Spanish, <laughs> <laughs> I definitely would have bought it in Spanish. Uh, um, and I just wanted to talk about these two magazines because a lot of our readers come from the, U are from the US. Readers. Viewers. Watches. Yeah, um, and you may not be aware of this. I saw a post on Instagram, and it sounded like people were really surprised at this magazine. This is a British magazine from the Embroiderers Guild. It's an amazing magazine. I just cancelled my subscription because I just don't have enough time to read them. So I felt like I was buying it, but not reading them. So the library has them. And you know, if you don't use your library, you lose them. So use your libraries. Anyway, Embroidery Magazine from the Embroiderers Guild. And they don't teach you anything, but they talk about, um, they have emerging artists that work in textile, so not just um, embroidery, but in textile. Um, 
they usually have one of the graduating textile colleges, like they have people to watch. Wow. Um, so quite often, I will come across someone and then follow them on Instagram. So this is a woman that does work inspired on the tapestries. The Bayou, I think it's Bayou. Is this the Bayou? The, I'm not sure. One of the big tapestries in France, I think. The un Lady and the Unicorn. Oh, yep. The one I was showing you. So I've, I found another cross stitch that <gasps> I want. You did, you did. Oh, yeah. look. A lady that does quiet craftivism in England. So it might be that you can't buy it it's actually quite reasonable um because i had it delivered to new zealand but it might be that your library in, in whatever country has it people countries that have good library systems but she does can you recognize that famous person oh that's malala, malala. yeah that's malala at Bur in birmingham doing some craftivism stitching so amazing magazine go out and borrow it or get a subscription and also the other nice thing about it is that they always have adverts at the back which normally i'd be like oh i hate adverts but these are adverts for things you do want <laughs> <laughs> and i found this company that i'm trying to get hold of them because they do wool embroidery wool embroidery floss i suppose you would call it oh that's just the, the natural dyed they naturally dyed mm. so with indigo and madder and cotton all sorts of things um and they do an Elizabethan range with the, the dyes that they would have. Oh, you could do that for your tapestry. Oh. Oh. Mm. Um, so anyway, they've got an advert for Zweigert. It's great. It's, I could not encourage everybody to get this more. Oh my God, they've got an advert for Lube. I've never been to Lube. It opened after I left the UK. Oh, we should do a road trip. Let's go to London. <laughs> <laughs> and the other magazine I wanted to talk about is this one called Selvage which hadn't long been going when we left the UK, but it's a magazine about textiles, so it's not just embroidery. But again, they have amazing stuff. Oh, so this is about a shop in Paris. Um, they also have emerging artists. They, they, oh my God, can I just say, that is a yurt with a child in, in their cot. I mean, they, they talk about Textiles. Beautiful. I've lost it? the box. You've lost the box, sorry. <laughs> um, so they talk about textiles traditions around the world and they also now do a, an online um, festival Ooh. where they support makers. So um, artisans from many countries are supported. Um, people that dye indigo, proper indigo in Africa, um, like Mexican artisans, Peruvian artisans. So this is very Moorish magazine. So I also had a subscription to this and then I just couldn't quite just... Look, <laughs> pants. Yeah. You're stitching up pants. What Karen does, uh, Karen, Catherine doesn't realise is that that's a, sh that's a clip from Orange is the New Black, which is a television <laughs> show. <laughs> so it is. I recognise the woman. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is like the perfect illustration of the difference between us. I know about Orange is the New Black books. I read the book before it became a TV programme. <laughs> I watched the TV program. <laughs> but I remember the actress. Oh. I've never watched the, the series. The book was enough. And the book was kind of a bit more serious. Like yeah, this, it's, this, it's, is, this is um, oh, potato this is chippy serious. television series, isn't it? Uh, anyway, gratuitous shot of pants. Yeah. Um, God, you know, I am just not your pop culture person. Do you want to know what they were doing with the pants? Go on. If I remember correctly, they okay, were now, wearing them talk about and it. then selling these oh. used undies to um, so we can't unusual post. individuals. We can't the, post we, this now. Yes, we can. I'm joking. Uh -huh. Anyway, look, at, I mean, anyway, I haven't even, I probably haven't even told you the name. The magazine is called Selvage. It comes out of London. The woman that started it is amazing. If you're interested in textiles, you will love this magazine. I have one that I bought with the cover of Frida Kahlo, which is probably one of their best-selling um, editions. They also have one with um, Iris Atfel. Is it Iris Atfel, the, the fashion woman mm -hmm. um, that lives in New York? Oh, the... the I think it's the Iris Atfel. She's, she's an older lady with the big glasses. Yeah. And that, that one sold out. I think they might have reprinted it because it was just so popular. Um, I don't know where they are now. Oh, subscribe now. Maybe they have them here. Um, 
Uh, oh, complete yucca. There's the Frida Kahlo one. Yeah, so I have that one. I still keep it at home. I love it. I love Frida. I've been to her house twice or F three times in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, we would have been friends had I been alive. Um, oh, no, so they don't have the Iris Apple because this is an older magazine that I hadn't read yet. Anyway, I think I've gone on about it enough. Thanks, lad. Okay. Um, other crafts. Right, so no, plans. Oh, plans. Um, yeah. Basically, I'm going to continue on with everything that I was working on and start that Rosebud Manor one. Good. Yeah. I just want to Not really finish something before Rose I Manor. start. Oh, well, then there we are. I just feel like... I, I'm, I, I admire you with this, like, crack on and get started. Oh. Yeah, the most frustrating bit I've found at the moment is that I'm all keen to start these things, but haven't quite got the materials because I'm unwilling to compromise. <laughs> she is. But no, my, with my thread delivery last week, and um, yeah, it'll, um, let me start at least another three projects, so that'll be good. Mm. And I'm hoping my Russian threads are still on their way. It's been five weeks now, but I have heard it takes about six to get to New Zealand. So I'm hoping they're still on their way and they haven't just fallen off the back of a boat somewhere. Mm. But we shall see. Well, you have plenty to be getting on with. I do. And if you get desperate, we have loads of unlabeled thread. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Um, okay, so I'm just going to carry on, but I'm not going to start any new things. I really want to finish a couple of the little ones, and then I can start some more big ones. Excellent. I'm busy doing lots of things. I'm not going to... It's uh, an hour and ten minutes. So what I will say is that this quilt, I've made progress. I... I'm now at the point where they can all, all the strips are going to be joined, which is where I thought I was last time, but it was, still wasn't quite right. So I spent Pull another full one. day. One. Pardon? People know that we go on forever. Pull out one. Oh. Just one. Okay. So, so what I've done now, I've, I've got them ready to join two strips. So two at a time. <gasps> Look at that! That's amazing! I am very happy. And in case you're wondering, no, I was never seeking perfection, so I'm very happy with how it's looking. Very happy indeed. Oh, it looks pretty bloody perfect to me. It's awesome. Yeah, so I'm going to take this on my trip because when Martin's driving, I can't cross-stitch on trips because it moves a lot. It's an old camper van, so it vibrates. Um, so I can do this. So I'm hoping that by the time I come back on Sunday, I'll have got it all pieced together. Wow. So there is three lengths to join, then one spare, and then to join all the other stuff. I will have put together so I'm really happy with this and I know that when my children are in their 30s they'll really appreciate what I did for them now <laughs> yeah mum where's my quilt <laughs> <laughs> yeah Judy <laughs> uh, um, well you know when, you, when you're little you want the things that you don't have so you know in Peru lots of lots of families would make clothes for their children I remember a friend of mine going oh god we went and we went to the seamstress and I had a blouse made and she was so embarrassed. She was like, she just wanted short board. Oh. <laughs> My kids would be like, yeah, but mum, why didn't you go to farmers and buy me something nice from a factory? <laughs> <laughs> oh. And I'll just torture them with handmade stuff. Oh. Anyway, I got inspired and I have finished my spinning. So I carded this. I, I, I made my own blend of wool with lots it was blue but with lots of yellows and pinks and greens so it's come out quite mottled so I'm really happy I've got another skein at home I didn't want to bring it the whole thing so I'm going to use this and I have made a decision that I am going to go to the spinning oh you are going to I go. am going to go because I've met someone that's keen keen to go I am going to go to felt princess in Dunedin so they have a fiber group from five to seven on a Friday and now that I've said it out loud maybe I will go <laughs> And I remember you heading away this weekend, so it won't be... Not this weekend. No, we've said that we will go on the 13th. Sure. Yeah. Um, I love spinning. And I was going to, like, I need to buy another spinning. Well, no, I don't. It's fine. This one works. I just need to be a bit more consistent. So I did that. And I've got three knitting projects going, but I only brought one because it's for my lovely young daughter. Oh, you're going to have it finished when, for when you oh, go? Oh, I'm taking it for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So I'm making her these one of these lovely mohair thingies and I didn't even use a pattern I, I just I've made so many of these top-down um, jumpers I know every so often increase 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 and I'm trying to kind of do it not super but a little bit balloony 
so it's gonna be like cinched quite fast nice. so she's yeah I think she's gonna love it and I dyed this this was the um, mohair that I bought from the op shop mm -hmm. and then I dyed with St. John's wort so Sophia saw the yellow and she was like oh and I said oh do you want it and she said yes because she's a little bit older and she appreciates me and she doesn't live with me of course so, <laughs> so I oh, think she's going to love oh. it you, wow, you've done heaps more than you had done last night. Oh yeah, um, yeah, I'm, I've done, I've done loads. So this is a good project because I can take it. So I took mm. it to quiz night, and startled a young man. Yeah. <laughs> he was quite startled that like, oh, someone was doing this knitting. <laughs> <laughs> At least he didn't say crochet. True, true. This was my shopping that I did, that someone felt was permission to go and spend money. So this uh, is Peary, an American. Um, brand of wool from Brooklyn Tweed so they're quite they're quite an That's ethical lovely. company I quite like that you know they use American products uh, I don't know what else to say anyway I tried and tried and tried to find a really bright orange this is not quite as bright as I wanted it to oh, be I like it though. that's not the true color the true color is more it's more of a rust is more rust and I wanted frightening orange is what I was going for you wanted the Halloween look yeah, but it didn't work out. But that's okay. I think I'll still enjoy this. So How many skeins of that did you get? Six or seven. It was a lot. So that's money. enough for like a jersey, you know. I'm making another cardigan like my bright yellow. Beautiful. Similar. A similar. So, yeah, quite, quite pricey. I really need to spin my own wool because that's way cheaper. I could, if I spun my own wool, I could probably have a cardigan for 20 bucks. Wow. Or 30 bucks. Can you spin a... Uh, what do you guys? It looks quite tight. Um, or is it just smaller? It is quite a tight. Uh, this is fingering weight, and it is quite a tight spin. But this is kind of uh, as thin as I can get at the moment. But nice. I'm quite happy with that. It's lovely. And because I don't follow patterns, I don't have to achieve a particular something no. to make it. I just make it up once I'm, I'm. Yeah, I would just start, and I know when to do my increments and stuff. So anyway, I'm very excited about this. But I'm going a little bit loopy with all the projects that I have on the go. So you're just gonna round some off? Yeah, I need to finish some things. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I've taken to every time I have a day at home, I put all my projects on the bed, and Martin loves it. <laughs> like the whole bed is covered. It's a little bit ridiculous. Right. So. But you're getting through it. You'll have that yellow jumper finished in a week or two. No, I'll have that jumper finished, hopefully by the weekend. And then I'll finish Martin's, and then I'll feel that I... You've a little bit more under yeah, because I'm, I'm on the cusp of starting my jumper sure. with a beautiful design. I'll show you that next time. Like, too too much talking now. Anyway, I think that's it. Oh, no, no. Those ones. <gasps> yes. I've forgotten about this. I love how Victoria I love enjoys these. these so you These know, are my favourite. It makes me feel good. Okay, you can help me display them. So they now have shoes. <gasps> Look at the shoes. Oh, no. Um, oh, yeah, they're brown. Yep, and she's got... We green soles on them. How cute is Can you hold that? I can hold that. I can hold it. They're so cute. And this this didn't take long at all. So I did a little bit with my friend Philip when he came around to visit me, and then somebody else that is gonna go spinning with me. Oh, so they've me. all got the same green backs? Yep. They all have the same soles. They're so cute. Some vegan leather. <laughs> <laughs> they are so cute. Look how wonderful these are looking. Yeah, I'm really happy. I don't really know what to do. I was yeah. talking to Philip and he was like, why don't you just put them up for sale and see what happens? Make sure you stitch your pubes on first. Oh, that's right. There was a comment about how they'd love that we're going. You've got to put your pubes on them. I know, isn't that great? Oh, I wouldn't sell them. They are just adorable. I know, but you know, my house is going to implode. Well, you could give them to a friend, just saying. <laughs> Cheeky. Uh. Anyway, I am <laughs> so happy with these. I kind of think of them as projects for... If I get, if I have any grandchildren in the future, yeah, I wouldn't be giving them away at the moment no? or selling them. I just think they're too cute. I do. The reason I worry is because, in, at the very latest, in three years time, we're going to move to a forty square meter house. Yeah, but you're going to have a studio. We'll find room for them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, dollies. And you can store them at my house. They're so good. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's so it. Cute. We hope that you haven't fallen asleep. Oh, and that you I must have. This. Um. Thank, Thank you, you for all your lovely comments. It is lovely to, to see the comments. Oh, gosh, I forgot to check that. I, I had done them all. Oh. 
we, I, I kind of try and do them before the next yeah. filming. Poor anyway, Catherine, I, I tend not to reply to the comments. That's okay. I don't mind doing the comments. Oh, um, thank you for your them. comments. It's been really lovely. Yeah. It, it is really nice when, you know, people comment and you're like, oh, they enjoy that bit. Like someone made a comment about the pubes. I thought <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah, and hopefully we'll be back in a fortnight, but I am aware that you were away the day two days after and I'm away one day after the, uh, when we're supposed to film. Oh, where so. are you going? I'm going to Ohau. Oh, <laughs> yes! That is so exciting. No, it's not. So work is taking us over away overnight for a ski trip. I don't ski. I'm hoping that I'm have going to lesson. hire some stuff. Have a lesson. Have a lesson. Have a one-hour lesson. We'll see. So exciting. At the very least, I'm going to make a snowman, which will be awesome. <laughs> and I will um I will try and take some film up there while we're there. Nice. We'll share Very it with beautiful. you. Beautiful. Great. Have a good stitchy fortnight. Yeah. And, um, Enjoy we'll the Olympics if you're watching it. That's right. Go team whichever you support. Yes. Go all peoples, because they're awesome. Yes. And the Philippines, first medal ever. Woohoo! Woo what for? A woman weightlifter. Wow. Hurrah. Congratulations. I don't watch the Olympics. I have people around me that watch them. <laughs> anyway. Have a good time. Enjoy your stitching. We'll see you see soon. See ya. Bye. Bye.